Off to do a little mail delivery in our Ford Tri-Motor here. We've set it up so we're at LaGuardia and we're going to take a look at the windsock here. And what's it telling us? Whew. Okay, so maybe we just need to use this runway. I mean, that's a pretty short runway, even for a tri-motor. But who knows? Maybe it'll work. Let's see what we can do here. So we're using Red Wings 1935, where they are simulating what it's like at certain airports and just sort of overall uh, flying in 1935. There's some little add-ons that they've put in. Now, this is an extra airport for 1935. This is the LaGuardia Airport. Um, I think all of, most all of the airports have a uh, non-stop mail feature and that is you fly over in one of their planes with the hook on the bottom of it and you can pick up the mail and just keep going or you can throw mail out of the plane um the other thing it has is light towers you know the towers with the arrows at the base that people used to navigate with this has all of that uh and they've turned down the lights in the cities so they're not quite as bright as they would be today there's vehicles and boats and all sorts of things ships that are all up to date and the the traffic's all different it's just a a really nice add-on to give you a, a sense of uh, the time period, but we're going to try to get out of this airport now in our tri-motor, and we're going to fly towards Newark from LaGuardia. And I hope that we don't have the same problem we've been having, which is as soon as our nose comes up on most of our tail draggers lately, we've been uh, pulling to the left. Luckily, that time we did not. Anyway... Let's take a look around as we go over. There's the Glenn Curtis hangars. Curtis Wright. Your little private dock with a Catalina. I think this is like nine bucks, eight ninety-nine to get LaGuardia. Um, to get the 1935 scenery for New York, and you're gonna see Manhattan here. We're gonna fly towards Manhattan actually really cool because you fly in and they've got uh, buildings redone there's new buildings that well not new buildings old buildings that no longer exist in Manhattan which is kind of fun and uh, and they've got these lights that you just follow right there you can see one of the red ones and it blinks in Morse code and it comes with a map telling you you know if you're looking for three shorts and a long or two longs and a short or whatever based on the actual light system that they used back then so we'll just fly towards Manhattan and then you can see Newark off in the distance there that green and white light is Newark so we're just gonna fly this imaginary cargo of uh, mail and well we don't have any passengers but We'll pretend we do. Old Waldo Pepper there in his plane. That's the other thing is they replace your pilot with this guy. So all your pilot figures get replaced with this little mechanic and this pilot <laughs> flying everything. Really do like the tri-motor. I like the back of it. Like some people, I would like some extra stuff put on it. But i actually just glad we have this. And we're not just stuck with the... The Fokker now trying to pretend we're in the tri-motor, so. Or the Junkers. Okay, so you can see there's like a line of lights off into the distance. They're pretty bright. I might have toned them down just a touch. But they are what they are. And uh, it's really fun to fly this thing. So we're going to... line up our compass so it matches this. Okay, we're always going the wrong direction. Let's go the other direction. We want 2-7 over here. All right there, and then we'll turn it on. And we'll uncage this. 
should. If I roll up now, it should climb. And if I roll down, it should descend. Perfect. Okay. So it's doing what it's supposed to. And we just laze along in our little tri-motor, I suppose. The gyro pilot will take care of things from here. If I've done it right, which I've had a habit of messing it up, so we'll see. That's over adjusting again. Which is the problem I had before. I don't know if I was if I've caged it in maybe when I caged uncaged maybe I uncaged it or instead of caging it, I don't know, whatever. That thing. You can see, well, you probably can't, so let me turn us more towards downtown Manhattan so we can fly over some of the buildings here. some idea what we're looking at in terms of the changes that they've made. Like you go into Washington, D.C., and they've got scaffolding around the Washington Monument because back in 1935 it was being repaired. And there's just some really neat additions that have been made of older buildings that have been returned. Here you go, right here. And look at... Whoops. Sorry about that. All through here, all these old buildings that no longer exist got torn down and replaced with glass monuments to our own magnificence, I guess. But really neat. We'll go back over to Newark, which is going to be quite a turn here. Works that little green flashing light off to the side. Let's see if it'll handle it now or if it's going to crash on us again. Noises on the inside are a little, what's the word, weird, I guess. I think they're a bit odd. There's more, seems like there's more wind noise than engine noise. And that could be my fault. Let me take a look here. Let's see, where is the sound control? Is it here? Let's see. Headphone simulation off, of course, obviously. I don't want that. Voices are off. Engines, okay, no, everything. 100%. Um, to turn the environment down just a touch. Let's see. Nope, doesn't make a change. <laughs> Not a lick of difference. Okay. Well, that's too bad. And we need to start turning towards that light there.
turn up our lights on our instruments. Okay. I don't really remember which directions the runways run at Newark at this point. <laughs> We're going to have to see. It's really neat. Um, I think the next... So I've got all the airports now that go LaGuardia, Newark, Trenton, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, D.C. So I can fly that mail route with all these uh, various airports that... Red Wing has created for those of us who like the well, in the world. Why are there trees in the middle of the water there? Huh. Well, it's flight sim. What are you gonna do? All right, probably ought to take control back over from the gyro pilot and do our own thing now instead of fiddling with this. We'll just keep going towards the light there. Like we're Carol Ann and this is a poltergeist, I guess. I don't know. But uh, it's definitely... Oh, I know what I didn't do. I didn't uh, turn on my head tracking. <laughs> That'll make a huge difference, won't it? We hope. Hmm... Or it may not at all. Hey, there we go. Now we can see the outline of the runway. So we'll just work our way over that way. Catch the runway. Turn our landing lights on. Now, if you have Red Wings Farman 60, and I think they have the Latte, Late, whatever it is, the French uh, had a really cool... Um, mail plane, air mail plane from this time period that Red Wing's working on, according to their Discord. That's kind of cool to see. And here we come into Newark, which is a really pretty airport, too. I mean, for the time period, this is... You'll see what I'm talking about. But you can see the lights keep going. The lights go all the way down the air mail route to, uh, well, at least to... I haven't been any further south than D.C. at this point, but... Um, but I think they've put the lights all along the, the route. They've managed to put them all in. And here we come to the Newark Airport of 1935 and our Ford Trimotor. You can do this, obviously. Look, you can see the DC-3s off to the side, and there will be other tri-motors down here, and little Curtis Jenny or whatever plane like this you want to fly. They've got them. turn off the head tracking so we can use the mouse to follow where we're going. And there's no way to taxi at the end of this runway. We have to just use the runway to back taxi now, so that's what we'll do. Use that th engine number three to spin us around a little. We'll pull up and do a little tour of the airport here at Newark. LaGuardia isn't the big airport you would think it to be. You know, you think New York, you're going to get the airport at LaGuardia. But no, the Newark airport seems to be much bigger. Um, maybe they're waiting for New York International, which I think is...
roll all the way down here to the terminal now. And after we come to the terminal, we'll take a quick tour of the airport. Uh-oh. Yep, somebody's having some maintenance done there. Some lines across the ground textures. It's a little off putting, but other than that, everything else seems to <coughs> pardon me, seems to be okay. hate to turn things off on this plane. <laughs> Primarily because this seems to be an incredibly difficult plane to start, and I don't know why, but I find it a little tough sometimes. That's probably my fault, but all right. Let's get our eye candy out for people, and then we'll go to our drone camera. So, there's the luggage being unloaded. What's that truck say on it? Freight Services Incorporated. Wherever you go, we go. Okay. And there's people coming out of the plane. All right, let's take a look around the airport terminal building here at Newark. Really nice Art Deco work that you would expect for the period. Really well done. Design works. I mean, they did a phenomenal job with that, I think. And there's the other plane that was that has landed here at the airport. Another Ford Tri-Motor, it looks like. And when it gets to be dark, you'll see these lights on the field. Let me show you what I mean. Let's change our time here to a little bit later. There you go. Don't want to completely shut it down, but you'll end up with lights on the runway. Not great lights. I mean, we're not talking about JFK, for goodness sake. You're lucky that you've got these. Let's go back to real time. See the rain off in the distance. So, here's the airmail pickup. When you fly by, they have this uh, harness here. With a sack of mail attached to it and you when you come by with your hook you catch the hook on that top wire there and you carry the mail off and you can also drop mail um, but they have markings on the field to help you line up with it and uh, oh, I don't know why my computer has suddenly decided to chug but it has In bad weather and at nighttime, you can see the lights really well, but otherwise you can't. I still don't know what the lines are across the textures here for the ground, but they definitely are there. Delta. Okay. Air core hangar. And a little roadway you could drive down. See some billboards and some old telegraph poles. There's our airport beacon. There's the arrow. United Airlines hangar, huh? Doors are all closed. Wonder what a Trans World Airlines plane would be doing outside United. A little Curtis, couple of Curtis Jennies, three or four of them at the Air Corps hangar.
period automobiles. It's really nice. I mean, nice little touches like that. Now, at every airport, for some reason, I've discovered that they have these things, which is these wooden buildings or whatever, billboards. And then behind it will be like a gas station. Not really sure why the gas station is behind wooden billboards, but it is. I seem to spot that thing at every single one of these airports. Okay, American Airlines, United, more United Airlines. We have here it's some sort of tower. I don't know, floor in it, but there's a tower there. Newark Metropolitan Airport. I think those are supposed to be on the ground. That may be my computer causing that problem, not the not the scenery. And as you go out into the harbor, you can see some of the changes they've made. And obviously a lot of this is just the standard satellite uh, imagery. But you can see, look at the, they've changed the cranes. And they've changed the, into these, like, uh, Tramp steamers, cargo ships, these old, like, almost like a Liberty ship, isn't it? Uh, uh, that's a cargo ship for sure. It's like a grain hauler. They got those throughout the harbors when you go to them. But anyway, that's essentially what it is, is there's like a whole series of... See the red light on the horizon there, and there might there's another one down there. Depending on which airport you're headed to next, you fly to those lights, and you and how you can tell is you look at the map, um, and the map will show you the lights. Let me see if I can pull up a map for you here. Aha! Here we go. Okay, so Washington, Philadelphia, New York. Let me move this over so that it's on screen here. And so you end up with a PDF that has these lights on them, right? So let me try to remember how you can zoom on this thing. So you come in here and New York you know we came out of LaGuardia and we went into uh, Newark and then Newark Elizabeth so here we went from where's LaGuardia? Is this LaGuardia? LaGuardia to Newark and Newark, I've got Trenton, and I go to Philadelphia, then from Philadelphia to Baltimore to Washington, D.C., and back again. And all along here is a series of lights, and it shows you on this old map uh, where the lights are and you uh, and the, the flashes that they are. So like two longs, it's number 60. Now... Then you get into like 61A and 61B that have the same flash. But at least you have some idea where you are. Um, but you see red, red, green. And then you have red, green. So one is red and one's, uh, one's green. And it gives you some idea of whether you're on the, the path or not for where you need to be. So you can stay, you know, on the uh, flyway if you would, and then essentially just takes you right to where you need to be. And I, I've flown it in the dark. It's been wonderful. Now, let's see. It's it's going to be quite a ways for me to get the other one. Uh, to go out the other route is like, uh, what is it? It goes New York to Bell, like Bell Fountain or something like that. And then uh, from there you go to... Uh, it ultimately ends up in Cleveland and then Chicago. Um, I really want to do that one because I want to be able to go over the Appalachians, but 
uh, or the mountains anyway. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys was we have this new product available to us. And uh, I hadn't seen anybody really review it for uh, 2020 yet. So I, there it is in my uh, Ford Tri-Motor. And next I'll, I'll, I'm going to actually practice quite a bit with the Farman and Farman F60 with the hook and see if I can snag mail or not. And if I can snag the mail, maybe I need to make a video on how to snag mail once I figure it out. Maybe I can help everybody else do it too. But, um, but I've really enjoyed uh, this the last several days. This is pretty much what I've spent my time doing is just flying these old... Uh, old airmail routes. Uh, so, if this is something that interests you, you can check out their website, but their products are all available now through the marketplace. And uh, if this is something that you find enjoyable, great. Hope you have fun with it. That's another video from Get Dad Game Time. Make sure that you uh, click the follow button or subscribe or whatever. Make sure we got somebody watching these from time to time. Thanks a lot. Bye.